Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty epic, so let me show you what we got. Friends, today we have the USS Defender from RK Naval Forces. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. There are notes, but I'm going to hide them for a second. Let's just zoom in and take a peek at this epic warship. Man, there are so many amazing features. The size of this thing makes it tricky to even get it fully on the screen absolutely love the flag and this is the first time i've seen this type of propulsion that's epic so friends let's turn on those notes and see what rk has shared of course it is the uss defender and it is a modern battleship designation bbgn 100 defender class laid down in 2018 launched in 2020 commissioned in 2021 the motto is, my defending, I win. Length, 300 meters, 40 meters wide, 10 meters draft, 68,228 tons of displacement, and of course all the stats for this wicked cool ship. I love how you provide all these details, RK. This is a rebuild, and it's mentioned right here. The first one was built in 2021, and check it out. This stand is actually the original ship's silhouette. That's really cool. Due to the Defender's great length, she struggles to turn. Therefore, bow thrusters were added in order to do tighter turns using brute force. First time I've seen that. The Defender has a camouflage scheme called Measure 22, designed to make it harder for an enemy to target her in a gun engagement. Awesome! As far as the guns, the Defender carries 12 20-inch MK19 auto-loading railguns capable of firing 3-ton shells up to 100 miles away every 100 seconds, so about a minute and a half. Defender even has the capability to shoot nuclear and laser-guided shells. The Defender is built out of black titanium, an isotope that is twice the strength and half the weight, giving her incredible protection. Defender is the most decorated modern battleship, as of now having 10 battle stars and sinking two dozen enemy ships and dozens of planes. She is both feared and revered among friends and foes, and the most legendary battleship of the great naval roleplay. Defender has four nuclear reactors, the same ones from the USS Gerald R. Ford. These drive the eight steam turbines generating 550,000 horsepower. As we slide to the back, you can see the awesome propellers that allow her to hit the 42 and a half knots. These propellers allow for great speed, fuel efficiency. These propellers allow the Defender to travel virtually silently. The Defender carries four jet float planes. These are used to allow for precise targeting for her main guns at a range beyond 100 miles. Check out the details on that aircraft. And check this out, you can see how the rest are stored down below. What a neat touch. RK also shares that these are launched via catapults and include floats to land on the water. The crane is used to lift them back on the ship. That makes total sense because there's no room for a landing. Over here we have another hull so that we can ungroup it to see how this is created. So there I unlocked it and if we hit ungroup, oh check this out. They are each individual sections. You've got the different colors, you've got the different shapes, that is so amazing. If we peek over here, these are all made with the awkward trapezoid. That is such an epic technique. I'm going to shut off the notes for one last look. As RK mentioned, this is a rebuild and he decided to totally push the limits as he created this one. 
in the last six weeks that he's worked on it, he's got at least 100 hours in it and believes that she is made of 5,592 separate parts. RK notes that he's got three years into the concept used to create this hull. It is the first one designed using math and the first to use the flattened cylinder trapezoid hull. She also has innovated guns that can rotate around their center axis. Note as I select the airplane and the catapult, they rotate correctly around their axis as well. RK, your ship is absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for sharing it with us. Friends, just a reminder, if you follow one of my tutorials, like say the awesome F1 car, of course there will be a link up above, and you make something super cool and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click that button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if that doesn't work for you, don't forget my website, hlmodtech.com. It has the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 600 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, you'll also find all of the categories of Tinkercad lessons I have, and below that, you'll find my day one lessons that are great if you're just starting to use Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I just want to say thanks again to Arcade Naval Forces, Oh my gosh, your Tinkercad skills are so amazing, and it's so cool that you shared your design and techniques with us. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.